Israel satellites are keeping a watch on our borders and our seashore. That's the kind of effort, remember, the positive contribution that India made to the world in, in the uh, field of space and science. Now, the round-the-clock watch by 10 ISRO satellites is being done. ISRO chief has said this and that must ensure safety through satellites. This is, remember, where India is a country that's been progressing, whether it's economy, whether it's our space missions, whether it's on the ground, whether it's people. Shivani, stay on with me as we listen in to the ISRO chief, V. Narayanan. If we have to ensure safety of this country, we have to really serve through the satellite. We have to monitor the entire 7,500 kilometer seashore area we have to monitor. And the entire northern part we have to monitor continuously. Without satellite technology, without drone technology, we cannot achieve that. Today I am happy to inform that at least 10 satellites are continuously working, 24 by 7 working for the strategic purpose to ensure safety and security of the citizens of this country. All right, so Shivani joins us on this. Uh, Shivani, isn't this exactly the differentiation between India and Pakistan? We have launch pads for space, for space missions, for science. Pakistan has launch pads for terror outfits. And this time, these science launch pads and space launch pads are helping us to ensure that our country could be kept safe. Tell me more about this. ISRO chief is saying, ISRO satellites are keeping a watch. What does that mean? How are we ensuring that our satellites will, will be, will keep it on the radar to, to check any kind of suspicious movement? See, what ISRO chief has said, he was speaking in a program in Impal where he's uh, made it very clear that 10 satellites are working 24 into 7 only for the strategic purposes. That means only for security purposes so that any kind of unfavorable movement towards India can be checked and thwarted. That is the synergy between the armed forces, the ISRO, where the scientists have been working relentlessly for national security and here, when, when our Operation Sindur was on and even before that and even after that. So all the time we've seen that how the satellites that are being installed, they are uh, uh, ready for any kind of surveillance purposes. They can check the movements in the skies. They can uh, derive information from the enemy movement. So this is how the 70,000 kilometers of the shore, uh, the, the sea, uh, the coastal uh, dis uh, distance and also the northern distance, that, that's what we uh, uh, the chairman also said that we have to be vigilant 24 into 7 and we are much capable of that. The science and technology, the scientists of the country, uh, be it the ISRO, be it the DRDO, they have been working for national security purposes and that's what we've been doing. And here the exemplary uh, uh, operations of the Indian Armed Forces are a result of this combination of efforts by the scientists, the ISRO scientists, the weapon systems we possess, the skill of our armed forces. So once again, this comes all from eyes, as an all eyes on our borders, whether from on the ground, kind of in the air, in the sea, or in space, as much. That's how Israel is ensuring our country is kept safe.